Well, here we are for another Monday Music with Milani part of WPSU's virtual summer camps. Find them at WPSU.org every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And now it's time for some music. Once again, we're taping outside where you can hear the birds and see the lovely trees and greenery. Everything is summer out here. And also you might hear in the distance some thunder because it might rain. And if it did, that would be fine. The theme for this week is wetlands. Before we get into wetlands, we're going to learn a pattern song. Oh yes, I'm all about the pattern songs. This is a song that you might have learned when you were a little child, or you may never have learned it. It is from Morocco, it is a folk song, and it is also kind of a game. Oh, I forgot! There's some motions with it. Let me show you the motions. Okay, the first motion. Everybody brought your hands with you? Okay, good. First motion this and this. Do you already know what the song is? Okay, don't say it if you know it. Do it again. This and this. That's the first motion. Here's the second motion. This. Like you're pulling something sticky. Okay, so first motion and then pull something sticky sticky for the second motion. You might have noticed that a lot of times things come in threes. This song is no exception. First motion is this. Second motion is this. I'm giving you lots of chances to practice it. And here's the third motion. Up, down, up, down. So we have one and two and three. Okay, you can get a little creative with these. You don't have to do them exactly the way I said. It doesn't really matter which of the, it doesn't matter about that. If you want to be sticky off in a direction, that is also okay. Uh, but now let's learn the words that go to them. As soon as I tell you the words, you'll go, oh, I know this song. So the first part is a uh, ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam. And can you hear how your hands will hit together on Ram, Sam, Sam, Ram, Sam, Sam. Good. Now let's do it with the ah at the beginning because the ah is part of the song. Ah, uh, Ram, Sam, Sam, ah, uh, Ram, Sam, Sam. That's the first part. Here's the second part. It sounds funny. <laughs> That's on purpose. Gooly, 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 gooly. Doesn't that just sound like something being stretched out? All right, so listen to the word as we make the stretchy motion. Gooly, 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 gooly. Oh, let's do both of those, ready? A uh, ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 gooly. Oh, so good. Um, and then there's another little ram, sam, sam after that. Pretty much every time you hear ram, sam, sam, this. Gooly, 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 always this, okay. The last part, the up and down, is a rafik. There's a k on the end of it. A rafik, a rafik. And it just is like water or the wind or something very soothing. Let's do all three of those motions together with the words. Ready? A uh, ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Do it again. A uh, ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Then we change it. A uh, ra, feek, a uh, ra, feek, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. A uh, ra, feek, a uh, ra, feek, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. 
this is so silly. That's the point. So this is actually a childhood game slash song from Morocco. This, the words are kind of nonsense words, but some of them kind of sound like words in Moroccan. You don't have to know all of that to know it's a pretty awesome song to have a lot of fun with. There are only two chords in this song, this one and this one. Those are the only two. How about I sing it to you first so you know what it sounds like and just, you know, you can do the motions if you want to, but you don't have to, okay? Oh, Ram Sam Sam, oh, Ram Sam Sam, gooly 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 Ram Sam Sam, oh, Ram Sam Sam, oh, Ram Sam Sam, gooly 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 Ram Sam Sam, oh, Rafik, oh, Rafik, gooly 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 Ram Sam Sam, oh, Rafik, oh, Rafik, gooly 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 Ram Sam Sam. It's not a long song. That's all there is. Now here's the trick. Once you start to get comfortable with doing the motions and doing them along with the words, we start to get a little faster. Hmm, I think we like that. So let's do it with the motions the way I just did with you. This time do it for real. And don't forget, Ram Sam Sam, Ram Sam Sam, Gooly 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 Ram Sam Sam. What's the erotic part? A rafik, a rafik. You'll be fine. And guess what? If you want to just make up stuff, that's fine too. Ready? A ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, gooly 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 ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, a ram sam sam, gooly 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 ram sam sam, a rafik, a rafik, gooly 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 ram sam sam, a rafik, a rafik. Can we do a little faster? Some people are saying no. So more people are saying yes. All right, here's the same thing, a little faster. Oh, ram, sam, sam. Oh, ram, sam, sam. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Oh, ram, sam, sam. Oh, ram, sam, sam. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Oh, rafi, ka rafi. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Oh, rafi, ka rafi. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Okay, there's not a lot of breathing in that song. Do you think we could do it even faster? I kind of think we could. All right, let's see. We were going this speed. Ready? Oh, ram, sam, sam, oh, ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, oh, ram, sam, sam, oh, ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, oh, rafi, oh, rafi. Ram Sam Sam. Oh my gosh, I didn't mess it up. I'm so proud of myself. Do you think we could go even faster? I think, I think we can. I'm gonna strum like this. Can you do it that fast? Oh ram sam sam, oh ram sam sam, gooly 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 ram sam sam, oh ram sam sam, oh ram sam sam, gooly 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 ram sam sam, oh rafi ka rafi, gooly 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 ram sam sam, oh rafi ka rafi, gooly 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 ram sam sam. I clap for you. That was so good. Get ready for the next song. Well, we're back for a little bonus. I brought another instrument to show you today. This is my auto harp. I know it doesn't really look like a harp. It kind of looks like the inside of a piano a little bit. Uh, and it's, it's pretty big and it's heavy. Auto harps are made of solid, fairly solid wood here to hold up all these metal pins. And then these big metal strings are stretched across it. You play an auto harp with a pick. This pick was given to be my, my friend Allie. So Allie, if you're watching the video, I'm using your pick. And an auto harp can be used to play chords in the same way that a ukulele can be used to play chords, except instead of placing your fingers down behind frets, you push a button and there are springs behind these buttons. And when you push them down, they muffle some strings and let other strings ring clearly. And that's how you get different chords to come out. How cool is that? Well, I think without any more talking, let's play some chords. So here's a chord. Do you hear it? I'll play it again. 
And I'm only playing up in the top right now. See how I muffled it with my hand? I placed my hand down like that and stopped the chord from ringing. Here's a different chord. Hear that one? It keeps ringing even after I stop. And now, here's the first chord again. Woo! If you want to, you can play the full gamut of all of these strings. I don't want to right now. I'm not really a professional player of the auto harp. So I'm going to do enough that I know that I can make it sound pretty good. And that's good enough for me. Well, what was the song we just learned? Uh, Ram Sam Sam. I wanted to show you, using another instrument, that you can take the song Ram Sam Sam and change it. Let's put some animal names with it. The theme this week is wetlands. And so I took our nonsense syllables, a Ram Sam Sam, a Ram Sam Sam, Gooly 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 Ram Sam Sam, and I changed them. I changed them and I added some animals who live in wetlands. So, let's see if I can make this do my bidding long enough to get out a different kind of a Ram Sam Sam. So, I think I'll use a Mallard Duck. Can you hear? A Ram Sam Sam, a Mallard Duck. I hear it. Um, instead of Gooly 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 Gooly, I'm going to say a Little Bog Turtle. So a mallard duck, a mallard duck, a little bog turtle and a mallard duck. Can you hear the patterns of our Ram Sam Sam with those words? What about a raw feek? What can you do instead of that? I will let that one be a surprise. So a mallard duck, a mallard duck. A little bog turtle and a mallard duck, a mallard duck, a mallard duck, a little bog turtle and a mallard duck, a crayfish, a crayfish, a little bog turtle and a mallard duck, a crayfish, a crayfish, a little mo bog turtle and a mallard duck. Oh, it's still ringing out. That's so lovely. Do you know what this is? It's a kazoo. So, kazoos are often used in funny songs, and you can use them to make any sound come out of that you can make come out of your own voice. So if I go, hoo, and I blow that hoo sound right into the kazoo, guess what happens? Hoo, that's the secret to kazoo. Also, you always hoo into the big end not the small end, you'll get a better result. There's a little piece of wax paper in here that vibrates when you blow air across it. It's really cool. It's really cool. Did you hear that? You can almost talk with it. Well, a good thing to do with a kazoo is to introduce the next part of our video by going <laughs> See you for the next song. <laughs> well, we're back for the next song. I already told you the theme for this week. It is wetlands. So what I did is I had to look up what a wetland was. I didn't really know. Uh, there are a lot of animals that could live in wetlands. There are so, so many animals I couldn't even begin to list them. In fact, when I was figuring it out, I wrote them down in a little book, and there are a lot of them. Let's see, we've got, oh my gosh, this page right here, nothing but names of animals who live in wetlands. Uh, fish, bats, beavers, otter, raccoons, coyotes, bobcats, muskrats, uh, did I already say frogs? No, frogs water skinks. In some states there are alligators, birds, because ducks and geese and egrets and all kinds of interesting animals like that. The American bullfrog, salamanders, tiny little turtles, great big turtles, 
Uh, some of these things are insects like butterflies, dragonflies, water scorpions. Oh, there are crayfish and snails and clams. I did not know there were so many animals that depend on wetlands to live. Well, one of the animals is in this song that I'm about to teach you. This is the kind of song that has a story in it. And it's a call and response song. That means that one person says the first line and it's kind of a repeat. This one's actually more of a repeating song. Then the other person, which is you, repeats it right back. Since we're doing this on video, I'm going to do both parts just because it's easier for you. And there are only three chords in this one. So it tells a story of a person who's going walking. They're walking in the woods. Maybe there's a wetland nearby. I don't know. It doesn't say. And a bear starts to follow them. Yes, a bear is one of the animals that could live in a wetland. And uh, the person notices the bear, and the bear notices the person, and they size each other up. The bear says, well, you should be running right about now. And the person says, I kind of think you're right. The person runs, and I'm not going to tell you what happens after that because you have to listen to the words. But this is the kind of song where you don't have to have someone teach it to you. You kind of learn it as you go, which is really nice. I'm going to take a deep breath. And I'm going to sing it, and you're going to sing it with me. Okay, so I'm going to do it twice. I'll say, the other day, the other day. So everything happens twice. You hear me sing it the first time, you repeat it with me the second time. The other day, the other day, I saw a bear, I saw a bear, a great big bear, a great big bear, away up there, away. I looked at him, he sized up me, he sized up me, I sized up him, I sized up him, he looked at me, I looked at him, he sized up me, I sized up him, he said to me, he said to me, why don't you run, why don't you run, for if you don't, for if you don't, I'll have no fun, I'll have no fun, that's my favorite line. He said to me, why don't you run, for if you don't, I'll have no fun. I think that person had better run. And so I ran, and so I ran away from there, away from there, but right behind, but right behind. Me came that bear, me came that bear, and so I ran away from there. really exciting now so I'm gonna make it go a little faster are you okay with that good because I'm doing it faster but just ahead but just ahead I saw a tree I saw a tree a great big tree a great big tree oh mercy me oh mercy me but just ahead I saw a tree a great big tree oh mercy me the lowest branch the lowest branch was 10 feet up was 10 feet I'd have to jump, I'd have to jump, and trust my luck, and trust my luck, the lowest branch was ten feet up. I'd have to jump and trust my luck, oh my gosh! And so I jumped, and so I jumped into the air, into the air, but I missed that branch, but I missed that branch, away up there, away up there. I'm so excited I messed up the chords, and so I jumped into the air, but I missed branch away up there. Don't worry, there's a happy ending. Just listen. Now don't you fret, now don't you fret, and don't you frown, and don't you frown, cause I caught that branch, cause I caught that branch, and on the way back down, on the way back down, now don't you fret, and don't you frown, cause I caught that branch on the way back down. That's all there is, that's all there is, there is no more, there is no more, and Unless I see, unless I see that bear once more, that bear once more, that's all there is, there is no more. Unless I see that bear once more. There's 
the moral. The moral of the story is, if you go walking in the woods, put a tall tree in your back pocket. I'm tuning my ukulele. for our second song of the day and a set oh wait is that our second song or is that our third song oh we're ready for our third song of the day this one is from Ireland and it is also a song with a pattern and it's a song with a few words in it that you might need to know so we'll talk about those first the name of this song is the Ratlin bog Ratlin like rattling but shortened means splendid so the splendid bog. And what's a bog? Why, I'm glad you asked. It's a wetland. So I found an Irish song about a wetland. And in this wetland, many things are in it or grow in it. And I like that very much because we were looking at some of the animals that are in wetlands, and there are an awful lot of them. Um, I believe this song only has one animal, one plant, and it does talk about the soil actually. In a wetland we have water plus soil. That's kind of nice. We have three chords. So it goes rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley oh in the song. And a valley is a very good place to have a wetland because a valley has a lower part and of course when it rains, the rain would fill up that bottom part and it would be easy for it to turn into a wetland, which in this case is called a bog. So listen as I teach you the very first part. It goes, oh, row the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh, rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Not very hard. Here's what it sounds like with the chords. Oh, row the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Now here's the part where you're not really even going to need to learn this whole song because, first of all, I'm going to sing it for you, but also there's a pattern. And as we stack another part of the pattern each time we go around, it might get a little faster. That's the fun part. Okay, well in the bog there was a hole, a rare hole, a rattling hole, hole in the bog, in the bog, down in the valley, oh. Now we go back to the chorus, which is, oh, row the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh, rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. And now we start the pattern. Well, in the hole there was a tree, a rare tree, a rattling tree. Tree in the hole, in the hole, in the bog, in the bog, down in the valley, oh. Oh, row the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. So what could be on the tree? On the tree there was a limb, a rare limb, a rattling limb. And now we go through the pattern. Limb on the tree, in the tree, in the hole, in the hole, in the bog, in the bog, down in the valley, oh. Oh, row the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. So the last thing we had was a limb. What could be on a limb? On the limb there was a branch, a rare branch, a rattling branch. Branch on the limb, and the limb on the tree, and the tree in the hole, in the hole, in the bog, and the bog down in the valley, oh. Oh, row the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Now here's where it gets interesting, because what is on that branch? On the branch there was a rat, a nest, oh my gosh. Let me do that again. On that branch there was a nest, a rare nest, a rattling nest. Nest on the branch, and the branch on the limb, and the limb on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the bog, and the bog down in the valley, oh. Oh, row the lat rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. So 
in the nest, there's going to be something, we know it. In their nest, there was an egg, a rare egg, a rattling egg. Egg in the nest, in the nest, on the branch, in the branch, on the limb, in the limb, on the tree, in the tree, in the hole, in the hole, in the bog, in the bog, down in the valley, oh. Oh, row the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the rat valley, oh. So we ended up with the egg. Uh, what's going to be on the egg? On the egg there was a bird, a rare bird, a rattling bird. Bird on the egg, in the egg, in the nest, in the nest, on the branch, in the branch, on the limb, in the limb, on the tree, in the tree, in the hole, in the hole, in the bog, in the bog, down in the valley, oh. Oh, row the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. Could we be done? No. <laughs> There's still a little bit more. And on the bird, there was a feather, a rare feather, a rattling feather. Feather on the bird, and the bird on the egg, and the egg, and the nest, and the nest, and the branch, and the branch, and the limb, and the limb, and the tree, and the tree, and the hole, and the hole, and the bog, and the bog, down in the valley, oh. Oh, row the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. On that feather, there was a flea. A rare flea, a rattling flea. Flea, feather, feather, bird, bird, egg, egg, nest, 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 branch, branch, limb, limb, tree, tree, hole, hole, bog, bog, down in the valley, oh, oh, row, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh, rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh, let's all sing that last part together a little more slowly, oh, row, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh, rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. Oh, that was so good. Get ready for the last song. Well, it didn't rain, I'm so surprised. It will rain, we just have to wait. So this week's theme was wetlands, and of course I had to write a song about wetlands. So I did it the way I do every song I write. I looked up lots of words about wetlands. I wrote them down and I looked at them and I tried to find where some things could rhyme. And I tried to find a chord pattern that would work, and I found one. It goes like this. simple chord pattern but I'm not going to use it for the first part of the song because I want you to hear the words if you want to see a wetland it shouldn't be too hard there are many wetlands the size of your backyard 400,000 acres of them are in PA that's Pennsylvania and if a wetland had a voice Here's something it might say. A habitat is needed for many kinds of life. A wetland is a food source and a shelter for that life. A wetland's very special. It might not be wet year round, but amazing things will happen where the water meets the ground. So the water goes into the ground. And what happens is that combination of water and earth acts in an amazing way to keep water clean. And it soaks up extra water, which helps the land from flooding if there's a whole lot of rain. And also, very important, it is a food source and shelter and a place to raise babies for animals and also plants. So now let's learn about the different kinds of wetlands. Okay. There are different kinds of wetlands. They're called by different names. I'll tell you some so you will know. Please put them in your brains. I think I meant to say brains. A bog is a wetland. A fan 
is a wetland. A marsh is a wetland and a swamp is a wetland. So here's some important scientific information about wetlands. There's only three things that you need for something to be a wetland. There must be water present at or near the surface of the ground for at least part of the year. That's the first thing. There must be plants that are specially adapted to live in those wet conditions. And then the last thing is, there must be special soil types that develop from those wet conditions. And there's a fancy word for that. They're called hydric soils. The largest wetland in the USA is the Okefenokee Blackwater Swamp on the border of Georgia and Florida. In fact, it is so important and so fun to say that I made it the very last word of this song about wetlands. So you'll say, Okefenokee. See you next week wpsu.org and also on WPSU's Facebook page for more Monday Music with Milani and the virtual summer camps of WPSU. Bye.